Привет, как дела, guys? My name is Fedor. Welcome to Be Fluent Channel, the channel that is all about helping people speak Russian. Last week I made a video about Russian musicians, and today I'm going to be talking about Russian writers, authors, and all of that, you know, all of that area of writing and 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 po uh, poets, Russian poets, Russian writers, all of that in one video. Okay, uh, I want to start with the most you know, famous ones that the, the whole entire world knows. Especially in Russia, they are very popular. They're really they're really known. They're they're considered classics of of Russian poetry, of Russian uh, liter literature. Okay, the first one and the most famous one in Russia is Pushkin. Pushkin, Pushkin was a poet, and he is considered to be the best poet of Russian li literature, of Russian, you know, history of writing, uh, because of his, um, of his talent. He was really talented, and he wrote a lot, a lot of great pieces um, that he's very famous for, okay? There are a lot of them. I'm not gonna really go over them because it's not really that important. And as I uh, found out when I came to America, not a lot of people abroad know about him, but back home he is one of the best. He is considered one of the best ever writers and authors ever lived. Okay, he lived in 19th century the most. He was born in 18th century, uh, but he lived the most of his life in 19th century. So he was he was very famous back in the day. Another one is Lermontov. Lermontov is very famous as well. He is considered to be a classical uh, writer as well. We learn a lot of his, uh, a lot of his pieces, a lot of his works in school. Okay, and uh, as I know, he was not only a writer and an and author. He did a lot of science and uh, and other stuff. So he was a man of multiple uh, talents. Another one, the uh, number three one, is he is very famous all around the world. And you might have heard about him. His name is Tolstoy. Tolstoy, uh, he wrote um, a war and peace, war and peace. Is that what it's called in, in English? Vaina i mir. We call it in Russian, Vaina i mir. And uh, as I found out recently... He was in top 25 most influential people of this millennium, okay? So for a thousand years, he is one of the top 25 most influential people in the world. And I was really surprised because I didn't know that anybody outside of Russia would know him. But he's very famous all around the world. And a lot of people asked me about him while I was here. They asked me if I read him. Uh, I, read his, um, I read his stuff, but not a lot, so... Uh, I'm not really into, you know, um, fiction, and I'm not really into that kind of uh, style of li literature at the moment. I hope I, I'll be uh, someday when I maybe grow up, I will be more into that, but not right now. I, right now, I'm I'm just bored when I'm reading that kind of, uh, you know, writing. Next one is Dostoevsky. Dostoevsky is a really influential person as well. He wrote a lot of great pieces that are known all around the world and he is uh, him and Tolstoy I think the most famous outside of Russia so in Russia of course they're known for their for their works but they are really really famous outside of Russia as well which I was surprised to to find out I, I would not think that they would be known outside of Russia but um, Dostoevsky he um, how do I describe it? His style of writing is very, very um, descriptive, I would say. <laughs> it's hard to, to read Dostoevsky because I think, at least for me, because um, his, his language is very complex for me and, and, I, and, I, and it's hard for me to follow his, uh, his ideas. But I've read a couple of his works. Um, I've read... I forgot. I forgot the name of it. Well, it doesn't really matter. I read one, and I was struggling to finish that. It was not like a, an easy r a read for me. So, uh, if you're into the classics, if you're into the old literature, I recommend you read Dostoevsky and Tolstoy. I think you would really love that. 
Um, another one, uh, another another poet, an- another Russian poet that was uh, during USSR years, and he is really really famous as well. And his name is Blok. Blok. Okay, so he is very known in Russia. He is very famous for his style of of poetry. His style of poetry is not really traditional. Uh, it's not like uh, the same size, you know, um, same size sentences. It's like choppy, kind of like a choppy kind of style of writing, but yet he is very, uh, it's very poetic and it's really interesting and it's very uh, unique how he puts his ideas into short uh, poems. Okay, so check him out as well. But these were the the most known and people that came to my mind immediately after I thought about Russian writers. And I've missed, of course, a lot of them. There were a ton of them during 19th and 20th uh, centuries. A lot of them, and we, we study a lot of them as well in school. So I'm not going to list all of them, of course, because it's just going to be 20 or 30 minute video. Uh, and also, I don't really know a lot of uh, people's works because, as I said before, I'm not into fiction like that. I'm not into classics um, at the moment. I hope to be someday. I hope my interest will shift so I can, you know, read the classics and maybe um, understand them when I'm older. But not right now. Not right now. Um, I wanted to say that, you know, uh, as I mentioned before, I had no idea how Russian li- literature would be uh, accepted outside of Russia. And in many, many movies, I see, you know, when there are scenes where uh, people's books are shown, like their bookshelves, I see a lot of Dostoevsky and Tolstoy, as I said before. A lot of books. Uh, in one video, I think it was Wildlife or something like that, when the guy ran away from his parents and he lived in the wild nature. And he had on his shelf, like, uh, he had Dostoevsky, he had uh, Tolstoy, he had Gogol, another Russian uh, writer. He had something else in there, I don't recall. So, uh, Dostoevsky and Tolstoy are very known outside of Russia, and they're considered to be uh, one of the best writers ever, which was a great surprise. I would not think that any of those would be known outside, because they mostly wrote about, about Russian customs, about how Russia was, about how Russian culture is, and... For other people outside of Russia to be interested in that, it's really it's a really big surprise to be honest. Um, so I, I was really happy to find out that my um, uh, my how do you say that the person who has the same name uh, Dostoevsky has his first name is Fedor as well. So my name mate, I guess <laughs> Dostoevsky is known outside of Russia as well. But currently, currently I'm not really um, following Russian literature. The current, the the modern Russian li- literature, but I know two of them. Two names that really stand out for me is Pilevin, Pilevin, and Prilepin, Prilepin. I'm not sure if you guys ever heard of these two guys. Um, I have never read anything from them. I just know their names because they're really kind of like they're talked about a lot, and I uh, I see them in different you know recommendations like book book recommendations for people, like top 30 books that you should read type of posts. And I see Pelevin a lot in that. Uh, and Pelevin sometimes is in there too. So it's really, um, it's really good that, you know, people, people read them and we still have kind of good, um, good writers that are still writing and still making, uh, you know, art. And it's not like uh, in the case with Russian music, as I said in the last video, there are really no, uh, you know, good bands that really stand out right now, but with literature, it's it's different, okay. But um, the li- li- literature world just changed entirely, you know. Um, when you think about American, something like Mark Mark Twain, is that his last name, Twain? Um, his style of writing when he was like when he was writing, um, it was different from what is written right now. Right now, things like Harry Potter, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, and all of that is popular. Okay, so it's it's a completely different world right now, and I don't see a lot of Russian writers follow that trend. So I can't really name a lot of Russian names that are currently active as, as writers and currently get the recognition, uh, the fame of the masses. Okay, so that's it. I don't really have anything to say. I cannot 
give you any recommendations of Russian li literature besides the classics because I have not read many books of Russian uh, modern uh, authors. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful to you. I hope you found out something new about Russian writers. And I'll see you next time. Пока-пока!